Welcome to Activity 3 of the Built Environment Module of Changing the Equation series of after-school math curricula. In this activity, students will integrate what they learned about drawing to scale in Activity 1 with the vision of the ideal community they developed in Activity 2 to create a scaled map of their community. Here's what you'll need for each group of 3 to 4 students. Six sheets of graph paper, several colored pencils, one ruler, glue or tape, one copy of the Community Structures and Features Cost Sheet, which can be found on page BE11 of the Written Activity Guide. One copy of the Proposed Size and Scale for Community Structure Sheet, which can be found on page BE12 of the Written Activity Guide. And each group's list of structures and features for their community they developed in Activity 2. To prepare, you will need to gather materials and make copies of both worksheets. Students will use the list of features and structures they came up with in the previous activity, so it's a good idea to have them review that now. They can also imagine a name for their community. The next step is to think about where everything is going to go. Should the school be next to a landfill? Should the hospital be next to an outdoor theater where loud music will be played? Where should the bike paths lead? Next, students are going to make scaled maps of their community. They can use what they learned about drawing to scale in Activity 1 of this module, as well as the suggested size of different features and structures on the proposed size and scale for community structures sheet. The important thing is that the structures are in proportion to each other. They can also color, label, and cut out their structures. Next, students will tape together four pieces of graph paper to represent the space in which their community will be located. Students can then arrange and rearrange their scaled cutout structures until they have a setup that they like. Group members should be able to discuss and justify their placement choices. You can help them by asking questions like, is it easy to get from one place to another? How would a child get from their house to the playground? To school, how easy is it for the police department or fire department to respond to an emergency? If there are no roads, how will someone carry their groceries and other shopping bags from the store to their house? After students have agreed and aptly justified the arrangement of their community structures and features, they can glue or tape everything down. They can also include standard map features, like a key, as well as the scale they used. For example, one grid square equals 10 feet. As a wrap-up activity, each team should share their community map with the rest of the students. This can be structured so that each team describes their map, the other team shares two things they like about the plan, and asks one to two questions about why the team chose to do something in a specific way. Ask the presenting team, are you satisfied with the plan? What trade-offs did you have to make? Would you make different choices if you had more money? What if you had less money? It's always a good idea to remind students about constructive criticism, to avoid hurt feelings, and keep things positive. Changing the Equation after School Math Curriculum brought to you by Explora. Funding provided by Sandia National Laboratories. Find more Changing the Equation videos at explora.us slash changing dash the dash equation.